from one conversation, it led to like a 40 minute ride home just talking to a total stranger. Have you ever had this where you talk to someone and you feel you don't even know their name? They leave the train. They shake your hand. So nice meeting you. I wish you the best. I wish you the best. And two strangers that connected in a minute and separated. That's what I had tonight. <laughs> First of all, before I met the guy. Um, and not this... You know, ooh, this, no, 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 this is just a, an elderly man having a great conversation with him. I w walked an extra 25 minutes to go and get a kebab. Because <laughs> I wanted this special kebab. And from that led to this conversation. And God has no randomness of meeting people. And this was a beautiful conversation. We talked about everything to anything. What stays... On the district line stays. What is said on the district line stays on the district line. But regardless. Talked about everything. But there's one thing that hurt me the most. Was I could not save him. You know when you have a conversation with someone and they share, you share your part, they share their part, you share what you want to share. But it came to a point where he's at a stage in his life where he doesn't know what he wants to do. He's, he is blessed in uh, all other lives, walks of life, but professionally he isn't. And I kept on digging and asking questions of, you know, well, what do you want to do? You know, what is it that, you know, is speaking to you? And any, everything could be, I can't be asked. I can't be bothered for for the Americans. Like, I just, I, I don't want to do it. In English, we say it can't be asked. And did not want to do anything. You could see the fact that he'd already given up on himself. And that hurts me the most because there's always hope. You can always turn your life around. You can always shift it, but it has to come from a decision. And as I was digging deeper, he wasn't, he wasn't willing to make that decision. He wasn't willing to make the effort because why would I? Because the environment that he's in does not get him out of his comfort zone. He has a closed mindset. When we had a conversation talking about the fact that, oh, you don't drink. Well, you actually should be drinking. No, I don't need to be drinking to be part of something. There was just these small things where it hurt my soul because you can't help everybody. As much as I'd love, you know, to help him with, you know, the supplements that we have to even help him, you know, grow on social media or even just offline, you know, find his purpose, his true value. He loves the connection. But when somebody doesn't want help, they don't want help. And letting go and just enjoying the conversation is probably just the cherry on the top. You can't share, you can't save everybody, but maybe through the conversation that I had with him, maybe sparked something. And maybe down the line, he'll be able to create something I have no idea. And that's what I want you guys to understand in your life is maybe you'll be able to inspire somebody through a conversation. It may be in the midst of the moment right now. It will not make sense. But it probably will make sense down the line where the person will be like, ah, maybe. So a conversation with a stranger can always spark something. He didn't get social media and he there was just like a lot of negative conversations, even though the conversation in itself was beautiful, but I knew it was just surface level. There wasn't much. It was still beautiful, but there was just like this change of when you feel the gap of so much work that you've done on yourself. But my message to you is if you meet anybody or have a conversation, always leave them one stepping stone better 
leave them, you know, with questions like maybe you should do this, you know, give them some advice of things that you have done that have really helped you. Um, and I hopefully that's what I did with this person. But um, yeah, it was a beautiful conversation. Uh, learning from a stranger to a stranger of what our dreams were, what our aspirations were, um, and what we were actually ready to give up or not. So it brought me some food for thought on sometimes I'm so much in my bubble that I forget other people aren't necessarily like me, um, but we are still the same. So yeah, that I dream. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to resonate.